So when I mentioned that I had put bearings in my Satek pedals, some people had asked when I was talking about uh, the sliding plastic parts cause a lot of stixation in these things. You guys know if you have them. So what I did was I replaced the slidey parts, the plastic slidey parts with bearings. Here you can see the top plate that I made with the bearing insert and then a Chicago nut holding it in place. There's a Chicago bow in the bottom. Um, also at the same time I went ahead and I made these stanchions to bring the pedals up a little bit higher and I did them at 60 millimeters and I really probably should have done them at about 30 because I have big feet. I have 12 and a half size feet and these are tall. These are a little too tall for me. So I will probably, because um, I'm disassembling it now because there'll be a force feedback motor installed on it here that I've designed. Um, so I'm going to be putting that on and I'll probably make shorter stanchions for the foot pedals. And let me flip this thing over. I started taking it apart and then realized that now would be a good time to make a video for those of you who just want to do the bearing mod. Okay. Ta -da. All right, let's get a little better light in there. Okay. So this is a little cup that is part of the uh, part of the, the pedals themselves. I, it almost seems like this was made for bearings originally, and then the bean counters got a hold of it and said, oh, bearings expensive. We no use bearings. Sorry. Didn't mean to be like that. All right. So I had to widen out the hole there. It's not quite centered, but it's okay. And I put a hole in the bottom. Again, not centered. <laughs> you can center up your hole a little bit better. I think that's three quarters of an inch. And then this plastic piece fits in here and there's little, little tabs on there that it locks into. And that's what this bearing rides on. So I got a bearing in the top, bearing on the bottom. And then you can see here, again, like I said, these things were made for bearings. There's who are 12 millimeter diameter um, post and that slide. If you've had yours apart, you know that they slide in and out this channel here, which gives you your linear motion, your rotation motion to your linear motion. So what I did was I took six by 12 bearings. Um, I'll put a link in the bearings for both of the bearings for all the bearings and the Chicago bolts and everything. And I used uh, holster, they call them holster studs. Uh, it's a screw, you, you know, they, the things that they use to put together the leather components. Um, I'll put a link in it. And so I cut off the old uh, post that was on there, the little plastic post, and then put the bearing in place. There was already a hole in the middle of it, put a bearing into place, and then ran the bolt through it, and it, it slides perfectly. The, the stixation is gone. I mean, it's just totally gone. And I was going to change out... Um, the spring and I went back with the original spring and I thought well it's still kind of tight it didn't have the stixation but I had made the mod done the modification to my Saitec yoke and the spring ah there we go cool this spring here is actually out of my yoke so what I did was I took this spring and I bent the ends so they matched the spring that came out of this and was able to um, just put this spring in place so it's a nice light spring and it centers good um, I tried a lighter spring before and it didn't center well because everything was plastic sliding against plastic but now it's bearing against bearing so there's a couple print, printed parts and there's the center shaft um, that I replaced which I'll, I'll, I'll put on Thingiverse and put the link on there's a center shaft there was a couple little um, spacer bushings, like there's a spacer bushing up underneath here, just a little spacer, like a little plastic washer that I made. And then, I don't want to flip this over because all these are going to fall out. Now they're going to have to fall out anyways because I'm taking it apart. And then, um, and then that bushing plate right there. And I think I used four screws that weren't part of it. So I, that's that's the mod that I've done with the bearings, and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put that on Thingiverse. I'll do a link for the parts, and uh, then when I get done doing my force feedback mod to it, because a lot of these guts are going to come out when I get done doing the force feedback mod, then I will post that as well. Cool man, see you. The nut. 
bearing. The Chicago nut. The little plastic washer. Printed washer. <laughs> Oops, it goes on the other side, but okay. And then that is, I think that's threaded rod. And as you can see, there was a there was a ridge on this, and I, I had to sand that smooth. So I grounded that smooth flush to this surface here, just so you know. And if you can tell, this is the, the piece that I made once I take this off of here. You know, once I get this off, you'll be able to see it better. And here it is with this piece off here. So you can get a better look at the piece that was printed here. And it's held up real well. I've been flying like this for quite some time now. And then of course these come off. I've already pulled the spring off. A uh, little spacer. All this stuff that I'm no longer gonna need because I'm gonna go force feedback. And then, let's see, so I'm going to have to take off that top plate. And then I'll show you the top plate. Once I screw the top plate in the bearing, I'll show you what that looks like. Because I need to get this whole thing out so I can redesign the inside. And I wanted to show you this too. So this is the bearings that I put on here. As you can see, um, I cut the, whoops. Come on, get in focus. Let me get a little more light on there. Yeah. Can't remember if I put a... I cut the end off to the height that would allow enough room for all this to fit in there. You know, I'll need to take one of these off to show you that better. See what I did. But there was a hole in it already. Um, and then this sits right down in here. I think I actually had to wallow that that hole out just a little bit, the, the rimmed part here, so that this would sit down in there flush. A little less than flush on that side. Okay, so I'll take this apart. Let you see inside there. Okay, now I remember. Right, right, right. So I did grind that flush. I ground that down and sanded it, filed it flush on that side, on the back side, the side that goes, um, that the bearing holds in. Okay, the other side the whole bear bearing holds in. Then I took this area here, come on, get into focus, and I think I had a wideness out a little bit. You know, I really don't know, I don't remember. Hmm. But anyhow, our bearing is right here, and what I did was I 3D printed that little bushing, that little black bushing on the bearing. And uh, so that's that little screw that goes through there, the whole holster, I call it a, I don't know, holster rivets, screw rivets, holster rivets, something like that. So that went in there like that. And then of course this goes, ah, let see if I can stand this up enough in the right direction. Yeah, hey, look at that. So that goes in there like that. I'm keeping, I gotta keep this together because of course I'm still using the bearings here with my uh, with my force feedback mod. So it's just gonna go back in here. Like I said, I believe, I mean, just, just looking at this and the ease with which bearings went in here just tells me that this was originally designed probably for bearings. So, and that's there. Okay, and that's that on both sides. Let me take apart the shaft. That's the Cytec yoke spring that has been bent to fit the Cytec pedals.